Hello, this is Big Boss, Rescue Chief of Humane Emergency Animal Rescue. Welcome to our series, Animal Rescue, A Photographic History. A place for us to share a collection of original, vintage photographs documenting animal rescue incidents and the undeniable human-animal bond dating back to the 1930s. Back to Photographic History, and this is number 11. The text here says, this is a UPI telephoto dated January 6, 1963. The setting is Dallas, Texas. It says, a horse named Blue Boy in the left photo is at the bottom of a 30-foot cistern which he had fallen into at the Halber Riding Academy. In the right photo, Blue Boy emerges from the cistern opening after being uh, pulled up by a winch. Despite the fall and rescue operation, the 1,200-pound horse walked away with only minor cuts. Uh, I've also changed the cursor. I'm going to experiment around with this cursor here in this one. Hopefully you can see this better than you have the ones in the past. Let's take a look at the photo side here on the left. We can got... Um, Somebody had to go down in here and do all of this fancy knot work with this rope here. You can see knots at various locations around here so it could capture the abdominal and the, and the uh, thoracic area and also go around the front. Uh, I think it would have been helpful because they're going to lift that horse up the way they are uh, to also put a loop around the uh, butt. It looks like there may have been, uh, if you look on the photo on the right, it looks like there may have been one there, and then it slipped. The horse might have started to kick. And then what I'm not sure of here is we have, um, using the pointer here, this is a rope, but in this, the image on the right, we can see that this is clearly connected to what I believe to be wire rope for a winch operation there. But it's funny, horses will find themselves into uh, all kinds of situations just like this here. This is a really great large animal rescue. Um, the only thing that we'd really do different now is we would use a spreader bar on this. And... Uh, it's not likely we would back a vehicle up in, in this fashion here to this because if this uh, if this cistern is unstable and it looks like we're looking at a rock face edge here to me uh, maybe that's the top of the cistern that's the way it looks but that looks like jagged rock I, either way I wouldn't back a vehicle straight up there she so complicate things either by collapsing the cistern in or by introducing exhaust fumes from the vehicle into that space there. And if you've got a human down in here, uh, you don't need exhaust fumes going down into this space. Uh, what can I say? They got them out of there. And then look how close that cistern is to the house. It's right next to the house there. And isn't that... Um, I'm not sure what... what this vehicle is it could be a, a, a wrecker but look how beat up the back of that thing is and then the other thing that I'm not sure why they're doing it the horse is pulling away from it if you look at this line here this this twisted rope he's it, it's under tension on that neck and so I don't know if they're trying to keep him from banging his head there but if you pull tension in this direction, the animal is going to pull this way to try and keep its balance. Typical horse, isn't it? Getting down in there. Other things that you can see, there's pieces of wood floating around. It looks like a bottle there. There was what clearly is a basketball. And then this looks like the inner tube of a bicycle tire. Um, and I don't think they're actively using this cistern for anything. I sure wouldn't want any water out of that. Pretty cool, huh? All right. I'd like to take the time to thank Five Element Animal Wellness and Dr. Josie. 
remind you once again that we have a website. Please visit us at www.hear, the numbers 911.com. That's H-E-A-R 911.com. Don't forget to subscribe. You know what the drill is. Subscribe, like the videos, share them on your social media, and then drum up that peer pressure and encourage your online friends to do the same thing. Because you love animals so much, you want to make sure, whoa, earthquake, you want to make sure that, uh, that we're a successful nonprofit and that uh, we can generate as much funds as possible to fulfill our mission. That's it. See you next time.